Hello everyone, this is Uthris. Welcome back to Let's Build Lothloria, episode 59. Um, just hanging out in the city, kind of going over some things that I need to finish and do. Uh, one of the things is that crypt area. And putting a bunch of details and little knickknacks throughout the town. Need to finish some repairs from when I was destroying a bunch of small trees like I think some buildings over here have holes in them uh, I don't know where but I'll find them um, last episode we were working on the bandit cap and today we're going to be finishing up the outside of that and then probably I'll probably do the inside of the cave off camera um, I don't know how I want to tackle it and it will be probably a boring episode if I try to put that on YouTube. But I will definitely show you the finished uh, product. Also, I went ahead and worked a bit on this goofy looking windmill structure. It is It almost looks like a clock, to be honest. But I'm trying to rework and rethink how a windmill would actually look. So this is a very utilitarian one. You put the flower here, it will be grinded. Shoot down this chute. You need to stand here and collect the flower. It has a four to eight gear ratio. This is actually the smoothest gear ratio I've ever built. Um, yeah, it seems to work really well. As you can see, it spins relatively slow, but constant. And then, down here, I hid the rotor and that governs it down in this little hole. I haven't repaired this area just yet, but I will. I tried to keep this one as clean as possible and make it look like the blades are actually spinning it instead of a rotor, unlike the other two. And I think it's the right size for Gwendale. Um, I need to do some transculpting around the log cabin. And then also the Mages College or Academy is missing a whole bunch of details. It feels like it's just sitting out here in no man's land, kind of by itself, which is fine. But I feel like there needs to be some additional details here and there. So that'll probably be in a detailing episode, which we're getting to very quickly. We are nearing the end of La Feloria, really, and probably within the next four or so episodes, all the buildings will be done, and we'll just be doing a bunch of detailing, and I don't know if you guys want to sit through all of that and watch me put a whole bunch of tables, chairs, and knickknacks throughout the build, especially since there's not a whole lot of variation we can do. So I also worked off camera over here on the small fortification for the bandit hideout. We need to add a bunch of the wooden palisade throughout along the wall. And then they're going to have two outbuildings. One's just going to be an old foreman's house that would have um, overwatched the mining operations at this abandoned mine. So, this needs to be built. And then also there is this small blacksmith. This is where the tools would have been repaired, but the bandits have taken it over and are using it to fashion and repair their own crude tools. So there's always that. Let's see, this upper platform is going to house some type of structure. Not sure what just yet maybe some small housing for the miners when they used to be here and then also there'll be cots and stuff inside the mine itself maybe some traps eventually i don't know anyways we're just trying to get as much detail in as possible now finish up this whole area so 
this is just going to be a small structure with an outlying area. Probably going to use windmill blades for this. If I can find it. There we are. So let's see. It's a good angle. Thinking about yay. is a good length for this structure. Flip it around. Oop. So as you guys know, this is a really old save. Uh, building on it is starting to become quite a hassle, especially in terms of deleting blocks and making additions and things of that nature. I would really like to go back in and add a bunch of detail to the palace at some point, and that's definitely on the list of plans, but I think that'll be in the detailing stage as well. So let's go ahead and drag these out. Something like this. Make it all even. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see here. Maybe add in just a little bit more detail to the front of this. I don't know what this makes sense to do, but oh well. So as you know, most structures are missing all these little fine details that I'm putting like this, and it will definitely help once I get those in with the unique feeling of every building. I'm thinking we need the supports as well. So this needs to be dirt. Maybe once we finish Lothaloria, um, I might take requests for buildings and then just do that. I build for something every episode. Don't quite know what else I want to do with Medieval Engineers. It is slowly winding down until maybe multiplayer or maybe even just some more decoration blocks and different block types in general. I felt like I have built the same house a billion times over. Not saying there's not variation I can do and put time into uh, making, but that just takes a lot of time and effort and when you're doing something this large of a build it can get tedious trying to rack your brain for a whole bunch of unique style buildings. So that's definitely this kind of mining area. To put up some more of these. Oh, they're facing the wrong way. Those would be doing nothing. quickly kind of haphazardly throw these around trying to make well trying to not make too much of a pattern um, but it's kind of natural that things like that will show to put the wooden palisade along that wall as well obviously there's a weak spot here um, but it's not the most defensible place in the world, and I want to kind of keep it that way. I enjoy making structures that have kind of a, uh, a weak spot that people can exploit and have fun doing. 
I can't put that there. Really wish I could. But whenever you destroy a section of wall, what will happen is you're unable to put any blocks inside of it. So you can throw some buildings off by doing that. Need a railing for this tower. Something like this will do nicely, I think. Anything else I can think of? Not for this spot, I don't think. Go ahead and add some more stonework. We find our pillar again. And then we need these inside pillars as well. Everything is still structurally sound. I am making an effort to do so. Even when I destroy parts of buildings, um, everything should be able to stand. Excuse the lag, but this takes a while to load. So you can see we have a whole bunch of green here. I'll go ahead and lag my game for you all. Just to provide an overview of how much... I think this is a good view of how much stuff we've built. I mean, in terms of, like, overall percentage of the Mac map being occupied, I, mean, I would say we're using about 10% total, maybe 15. And, I mean, this is the one of the largest maps you can choose by default without having to load up some custom one. And we're filling it up very nice. So let's see, more Palisade. I'll tell you what, I'm, that's off camera work. It's just too much. By the way, that windmill that I built, <laughs> that thing took a while. Um, it was definitely not the easiest structure in the world to do. But it definitely had to be done. Why can't I place that there? Thank you. Then we also need the angle bit. See, this is one of the times where I wish there was an angled, just normal wall. I mean, we have an angled battlement and angled supports. There needs to be an angled wall by now. Um, if anyone from Keen House is watching, please add that in. It's almost a necessity at this point. I feel like this is off center. Why is that? What did we do different? gonna have to fix this. I think it's this side here. Let's see where it is. Tower empty here. Yeah, I needed to do this kind of shape. And then cut back into the landscape so yeah something like that that looks okay what else do we got here um as always if you guys have anything that you guys would like me to play i'm kind of noticing a drop off on views which is fine uh medieval engineers is i mean you guys have been watching me do this forever and so I'm not really getting a consistent vibe if you guys want to see more of this or something else or if you guys just check in every now and then it's just one of those things I'm new to this and I don't know how to read into what you guys want I mean, I've only been doing this for about two and a half months now I guess Course, gotta put our support for stairs. I 
And I'm thinking about doing a little bit of a battlement here. That way it just looks a little bit more defensive. Uh, which I always get confused about which angled piece to use here. And I think it's the other one. Yep. Excuse me while I go into menus. I didn't have my bar quite set up for this. It's very Skyrim-esque. I think. I feel like this is something you'd come across on Skyrim. Here, add more details to that. So I'm thinking two small structures will be up here, and then also is this curve in again or no? I don't think so. We just went straight back into the landscape. Tell you what, let, let's keep with stone at this point. Keep the look consistent, nice and clean. Place, please, thank you. Uh, this needs to go over here and there. There's a nice little battlement, I think. Place more wooden floors. This area there. In there. Maybe even would it look if I just connected this all up? Like so. Does that look better than before? I don't think so. I kind of like the divided look. Granted, wish we had a 45 degree angle wooden piece. Oh well. Then, let's go ahead and build our little structure here. Windows usual and I need to clear out all this terrain now so I know about what height it's all going to be it's gonna be a simple l-shaped building I think the higher up would probably uh, live here the Bandit Lord, or Leader, whatever you want to call him. The guy with the highest bounty, basically, is what I like to think. And then let's use stone walls for this back area, since there aren't any windows. It makes sense to keep using this wooden. How it, would have, it would have to support some of the hills. Wait. I'm almost running out of time. Which basically means we get to see a time skip here, I think. And I'll show you guys the kind of finished area. And see what you guys think. Alright. So this is what you guys would be greeted with when you stumble across this bandit camp. I'll go ahead and just do a walkthrough of this. So you got a small blacksmith smithy area to do crude repairs and crafting. I went ahead and changed the front a little bit. I didn't like how the staircases were here. So uh, hopefully this makes a little bit more sense. Go ahead and up the new staircase. And the nice thing about this area is, you know, th this is a pretty high point. You can see people coming from a good while away, even though they are protected by a hill and foliage up there. A pretty open area. It's missing a piece of flooring, as usual. 
Um, this is just kind of common rooms and such. And then the Bandit Lord would have his own area at the top of this. And also his own kind of balcony to kind of overwatch his whole operation and make sure no one's messing about. Uh, let's see. It's missing a bunch of detail. Obviously there is some flooring issues just due to the terrain here. I might leave some of the stone through. And I could also, it's up to you guys, I could go through and make this like the ruin attached to the main wall and kind of mess it up just a little bit, attach some overgrowth, that way it looks a little bit more abandoned rather than kind of perfectly upkept. And if you guys haven't seen that section of wall, I'll go ahead and fly over just to refresh everyone's memory. Um, from far away, looks pretty nice. Go ahead and go over this direction. Just as a refresher, this is the old burn town section of the outer wall. So I could do a little bit of this over at the bandit camp if you guys want. I think it would look pretty cool, but that's up to you guys. So anyways, I think I'll leave that episode here. Thanks for watching as always. If you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe. Check out the playlist if you're new. This is uh, has been going on for a while. So I the playlist covers every structure except for the palace being built because I built that before I decided to make a YouTube channel. And yeah, see you guys in the next episode.